Hey guys, here we have a 2016 Salem. This is the 27 D Bud. Uh, There's a video walkthrough for it, and we'll start up front. So up here you have your tongue jack. You have extend and retract, and then you got a little light right here to hook up when it's dark. Uh, your chains right here, and then this is your seven way uh, for your lights and brakes. And then this little cable right here, uh, that is a breakaway cable, uh, which is basically your emergency switch. If this ever came disconnected from your tow vehicle, uh, that would pull out and lock up the brakes. Uh, you got your propane tanks here. And you can loosen these little knobs right here. And pull it. And then you'll have access to your tanks and open and close them and then you have your regulator right here and this little switch right here is pointing to what tank it's drawing from uh, so uh, when this one goes empty you can turn the other one on and flip that over then you have your 12 volt battery right there Then on this side, you have some storage. Get it. Yeah. Uh, so you got a pass-through storage. The other side's bigger. Uh, the door's bigger, so you can fit bigger objects inside. Uh, then you have a light over there, and then you have a crank for the stabilizer jacks. And then this crank right here is for the slide-out uh, for if some reason your battery dies or if it's just not getting power uh, you can crank it in and out manually and then your stabilizer jacks oh wait now that one is for your stabilizer jacks uh, if those lose power yeah because these are electric okay. so that one yeah is for your stabilizer jacks uh, then this is your slide and then back here you have your city water connection so when you go to uh, campgrounds that's where you hook up your water hose uh, then you got your sewer outlet right here uh, the one on the right is your black tank and the one on the left is your gray tank uh, I recommend dumping your black tank first. Once that's empty, uh, you can close it and then open the gray tank and that'll flush out your sewer hose so it's not leaving a uh, mess inside. Uh, then you got your cable and satellite hookups and then this is your power cord right in here and this just pulls out and then when you're done, you shove it back in. Uh, this is a 30 amp unit. Uh, so when you go to campgrounds and stuff, make sure you ask for the 30 amp hookups. Uh, if you're at home or something, you can get an adapter to plug into a regular household outlet to charge your battery up or turn on the lights and stuff. Uh, the only thing you can't run when you're plugged into that adapter is the air conditioner uh, because that requires a full 30 amp hookup. Uh, and if you try running it at home uh, without the 30 amp plug, it will end up burning up your cord. So uh, if you're plugged in at home with the adapter, don't run the air conditioner. Then you have your spare tire back here. Then on this side, you got...
Okay. So right here you have a big storage area. Uh, pretty nice. You can put like folding chairs or if you have a extra table or something. Plenty of storage right there. And it does have these um, door holders right here. Uh, that way you don't have to hold it with one hand and try and move stuff in and out. Then the switch right below it, that is going to be for your rear stabilizer jack. So you have extend and retract. And you just want to crank these down till you hit the ground or if you put some blocks under the pads. And then you just hold it for like another second or two just to put a little pressure on it. You don't want to try and uh, lift up the camper with them because uh, these are only made for stabilizing. Um, so if you try and lift it up, lift the camper up with these uh it will bend them uh so stabilizing only and same for the front uh then you have a portable water tank on board and this is the fill for it uh, it's a gravity fed so all you do uh before you head out on your trip uh you just put the hose in there and let it fill up and the drain for that is right there and it's just a little valve on the end of the hose uh, so right now it's open and then before you fill it you just turn that valve um, it'll allow you to fill it up uh, this is the back of the fridge uh, it's just where it vents and where we have access to service it then you have a couple outside outlets next is the exhaust for your furnace uh, when you are using the furnace do not you know lean your chair up here or put the picnic table right here uh, because that gets pretty hot and it will melt or burn whatever is in its way um, and obviously don't touch it while you're using it um, but most of the time in the summer it's nice and warm so you don't have to worry about it so you can you know some people like to put the picnic table right up to it uh, right up to the camper under the awning um, so just be careful when you are using it don't have anything up against it and this is the vent for the stovetop uh fan and there's just a little flap in here it's a little hard to see uh, right there uh, so that just snaps open and close uh, when you're traveling uh, or not using it you want to make sure that's closed that way no bugs or water get up in there um, and then when you want to use it obviously you have to come out and pop it open but then you got a couple outside speakers and then you have your water heater right here and this is a six gallon tank and uh, is gas and electric um so for the electric it's just a little on off switch right there and for the gas there's a switch inside on it lights on its own it's got electric ignition uh, so you don't have to come out here and light a pilot and this is your plug for it uh, it's a anal rod uh because this is a steel tank so the calcium and stuff in the water will eat away at this rod instead of the tank uh, and this is a consumable item so probably every three years or so depending on how often you use um the camper uh, you'll have to replace it, which it's only like 20 bucks or something, so nothing too crazy. Alright, and then you just have the other storage side of the storage, and then the switch for the front stabilizer jacks. And then your awning goes cover just about the entire thing. Uh, so now we'll go inside. Uh, so right to the left when you walk in you have your control center has all your switches and then your monitor panels on the top side of it uh, So right here you have the light switch for inside and then the light switch for outside and Then you have your water pump switch uh, if you're using your portable water tank You'll have to turn this switch on It'll pump water to all the faucets and once it builds up pressure the pump will shut off and then every time you open the faucet will kick back on so you don't have to come over here and flip on and off the switch 
and then the water heater switch right here this is a switch for uh to turn on the gas uh so all you do is just flip it on and it'll take a couple seconds and then it'll light right up uh you got your slide switch here in and out and all you have to do is just press and hold it in or out and then it'll uh, make a clicking sound once it's all the way in or all the way out and then you just let off the switch and you're all set and then this switch that's not labeled this is for your awning um, so you got out you same thing press and hold it because um, it is electrical um, awning uh, you have to watch it while rolling it out and it doesn't stop on its own um, so when you're rolling it out there'll be a balance that'll fold down at the end of the tube uh, once it gets all the way out and it goes quite a bit out once you see that fold down uh, just let off the switch uh, and it's all the way out uh, if it's really windy or starts downpouring you are going to want to roll this in um, that way no damage is caused to it uh, you know if it's a light sprinkle or whatever uh, on each arm you can adjust the pitch of the awning so the water does run off um, but like I said if it starts downpouring or is super windy that day um, either don't roll the awning out or make sure it's rolled in and definitely make sure it's rolled up before you go in for the night all right and then your monitor panel uh, it's just these buttons here you press and hold it it'll light up up here telling you how full your tanks are and how charged your battery is uh, so this one's your battery and fresh water tank and then you got your black tank and then your gray tank um, and then there's an extra button right there uh, which that doesn't go to anything all right uh, so you got your entertainment area right here so your tv and radio it's also your dvd player that's already hooked up to the TV. You got an outlet down there. Uh, and then this TV does flip around. Uh, so you got a little lock right there. And then uh, you'll just have to move the doors out of the way. Uh, slide them closed. Uh, and then this, you can flip around and you'll have the TV in the bedroom. All right. And then in the bedroom, uh, pretty self-explanatory you got your closets with the mirrors overhead light and shelf above the bed uh, you do have a light right there and your bed and then right here you have a spot so in the storage compartment you can put a little basket for dirty laundry and then just pop it in there and that way it's out of your sight and then the bed does flip up so you do have access to under the storage area all right um, so you got your couch here and your dinette uh, and this does fold down into a bed it's a jackknife sofa so you just lift up on here and then you just kind of pull it out and it'll fold down and then you got a nice big drawer under it for some more storage. And you got storage above. And all the lights have a little switch on it to turn it on and off. Uh, all the lights are the same. And you got your kitchen area right here. A uh, nice little three burner stove and oven right here. Uh, and this does have a sparker on it right here. Uh, so all you have to do is just turn this to light and hit the sparker a couple times and it'll fire right up. Uh, for the oven, you do have to use a grill lighter to light it. Um, so you just turn this to pilot. Uh, you push and hold it. And then right back there is the pilot. So that's where you'll stick your grill lighter. While you're holding that button, uh, hold your lighter down there. Uh, once the pilot's lit, keep holding the knob for another 10 or 15 seconds and then let off the knob. If it stays lit, then you're all set to change it to what temperature you want. 
If it doesn't stay lit, uh, just try it again. Sometimes air gets into the line, so it takes a little bit longer to get going. And then you got your drawers, storage under the sink. And then you have this nice little pantry uh, thing right here. Uh, it does have a little latch right here uh, for traveling. That way you don't swing open and close. Uh, nice little microwave, and then your stovetop light and fan. Uh, your fridge and freezer right here. Uh, this is a gas and electric refrigerator. Uh, so you got your on-off button here. Uh, and then this button controls uh, what source you're running off of. Uh, so right now, it's on auto. That means it's looking for electricity first. Uh, so when you're plugged in. Uh, if you're not plugged in or if you lose power overnight, it will automatically switch to gas if your propane tanks are on. Um, and then if you want to only run it on gas, uh, you push that button out and then it will light right up. And then if the light next to the check uh, comes on, uh, that means it's not running on anything. Um, so all you have to do is just turn it off, make sure uh, if you're plugged in, make sure there's power there. Or if you're um, running it off gas, make sure uh, you have propane in your tanks and that they're on. And then just try it again. Then you got another little closet area right here and some storage there and then you have the bunk beds and then you have a nice little sink and medicine cabinet and some more storage under the sink there and then right here uh, this is your thermostat so you got your on off button here uh, so you just press that. Right now it's on fan, um, which is just the fan and the air conditioner. Uh, you want to make sure it's on auto um, if you're going to use the air conditioner or furnace. Um, but if you just want to circulate some air, you can change it to uh, low or high. And then put it back to auto. And then you can go to cool. And then you have furnace. And then you have off. And then obviously the plus and minus is to change the set temperature. And then last but not least, you have the bathroom. So you got your toilet with a foot flush uh, just down there. Uh, so if you press it a little bit, it'll add some water to the bowl. And if you press it all the way, it'll uh, flush it down into the tank for you. You do have light switch right there. And then you got your tub shower right here. Uh, pretty simple, hot and cold water. And then shower curtain and a nice little skylight to let in some natural light here and a little more headroom. And then you got a vent with a fan in it. Uh, so when you're showering, you can vent out the moisture uh, and then your knob right there to crank open the lid. And then the switch right there to turn on and off the fan. All right, uh, you do have some speakers for a little surround sound for listening to music or uh, watching a movie. And then right here uh, is the crank for the antenna on the roof. And that is for the TV to pick up local channels. Uh, so you crank it up and down. And then you can pull this down and rotate it to try and get a better signal. And then before you go and crank it down, you want to make sure these two arrows are lined up because uh, there's a little slot up there that it rests in uh, when it's all the way down. That way it doesn't flop around. And that is everything to do with the 2016 Salem 27D Bud. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy camping. Uh, and thanks for shopping at Mecklesen RV.